So, full disclosure, I am not a rising expert. I don't really spend a lot of time, you know, tweaking my desktop for screenshots. And I don't post a lot on r slash Unix porn or anything like that. So I'm by far a no rising expert. But for those of you not familiar with the term rice, that is basically used to describe a Linux person's desktop. It basically is when somebody talks about my rice, they're talking about their customized Linux desktop. And when they talk about ricing their desktop, they're talking about customizing it and, you know, getting all these cool terminal applications on the screen and, and you know, in a certain layout so they can take a nice pretty screenshot and put it on r slash Unix porn. And I found this really cool tool. If ricing your desktop is something that's important to you, I found this great auto generation wallpaper utility called Packwall. If you're on an arch based system, what this does is it creates a wallpaper based on the number of installed packages on your system. It creates a dependency graph of your installed packages and makes a wallpaper out of it. So if I switch over to the browser and go to GitHub, you will find the source code for Packwall over on GitHub. And all you need to do is just git clone this repository and you can use it. But again, it's kind of designed to be used with Arch based systems. And there is a AUR package for Packwall. What you need to do is if you have yay installed, you need yay space dash capital S space packwall dash git and that will install packwall for you and there's a screenshot here it shows you exactly what it does it creates this nice little graph uh, based on the number of packages you have installed and you can customize the colors by default I think it, it uses like a solarized color scheme there's some customization options if I get scroll down a little bit there are some flags and the flags including changing the background color and the edge color and various node colors and let me show you this in action so let me switch over to my desktop here so I am on Qtile today this is the Qtile tiling window manager and to see Packwall in action let me zoom in here so you can see exactly what is going on let me clear the screen and if I simply run Packwall because I installed it from the AUR package those of you that download it and just do a git clone what you would do is you would run the Packwall script from the directory that you cloned and it would look something like this uh, you would do a period slash Packwall dot sh from the cloned repository for me I've got a binary on the system so I just need to run Packwall and let me run Packwall and let me switch to an empty screen so you guys can see what will happen to the wallpaper. Now running Packwall does take several seconds for it to finally generate the wallpaper uh, because it's got a lot of information I guess that it actually has to run through before it actually creates the wallpaper. And it has created the wallpaper. Now I cut out some of the dead air in this video, but it took maybe 30 seconds on my machine to generate the wallpaper. And the default wallpaper scheme, the color scheme, is the solarized dark scheme. But we can customize that a little bit. Let me pull up a terminal and zoom back in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the GitHub page. And if I take a look at some of the available flags here, one of them is dash B for background color. So if I go back to the terminal here and I do a pack wall space dash B and then in quotes, I need to do the RGB color and you could also do RGBA colors as well if you wanted to add some transparency. For me, what I want to do is I want to do a solid uh, color here and I'm going to do it the same color as my bar color. So I want my wallpaper background to be the same color as the bar color, same color as my terminal color as well. We will give this a few seconds and the wallpaper should change. And the new wallpaper has been generated with the background color that I wanted already. That's starting to look nice. That's, that's a pretty sexy riced desktop. I could almost take a, a screenshot of this and put this over at r slash Unix porn. And I think this kind of wallpaper, you know, this kind of abstract art looking wallpaper that's basically just a graph of my installed packages. I think this looks better than all the weird Japanese anime that so many people post over at Unix porn.
But let me see if I can customize this a little bit better. So let me get my terminal back up and I'm going to keep going with some of the flags and options as far as the colors. So it looks like I have about seven or eight different options for colors. And I think what I want to do is I want to open up a new terminal and I think I want to open my X resources file because I've got my terminal color scheme loaded in my X resources. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in some of these colors into the options that are available here in the pack wall documentation. All right, and what I did is I set, uh, what, six or seven different colors here. So I set the background and then dash E, which is the explicit node color, dash D, which is just a node color, P, which is the orphaned packages, F, which is foreign nodes, U, which is outdated nodes, and then the dash S, I think, is the color of the lines. They're calling it the edge color in the documentation. So let me just hit enter and generate this graph and we will see what it looks like. And if it looks good, I will start using that wallpaper. And my new graph was generated. The only thing is I have so many installed packages on my system. I have 2000 packages <laughs> installed on my system. That is very bloated for an arch based system. And I have so many lines that it's basically nothing but a dark circle in the center of this graph. You can't even see, like, I think there's some inner rings of circles as far as the installed packages, but you can't see it because there's so many lines being drawn. But I did notice in the documentation that other than just RGB colors, I could also do uh, RGBA colors. So we could add some transparency. And I think what I want to do is add some transparency to this last one, the dash S flag, which is the line colors. And it needs to be a lot of transparency because there's so much going on. I need to, you know, put plenty of transparency in this thing. So let me add a couple of digits to the, the end of that particular color and wait a second. And hopefully once we make this quite a bit more transparent, we can actually see more detail in the center of this graph. And yeah, I like that a lot better, adding a, a pretty good bit of transparency. Now at least let some of the background and then some of the circles within the inner circle here actually bleed through a little bit. I, I'm pretty happy with what I've done here, just spending a few minutes on this. Now, beyond what I have done, there are some, some other things you could do with Packwall. So getting back to the documentation, some other stuff you could do with Packwall. Now, in the uh, repository here on GitHub, they have this file here, 90-packwall.hook. If you add this to your Arch install, so what you need to do is you need to place the, the hook, place that particular file, 90-packwall.hook, place that in slash user slash share slash lib alpm slash hooks and now when you update your system it will trigger this wallpaper generating each time you do something like uh, install packages remove packages update your system now because the pack wall uh, generation takes you know like 30 seconds on my machine it may take up to a minute on on lower powered machines i don't know uh, i probably would not use this I probably wouldn't because if you install and remove packages often and, you know, you're going to trigger this auto generation every time you install or remove a package, you know, that's a lot of time that it takes to generate this wallpaper. So I probably would just generate the wallpaper every couple of weeks or, or whatever myself. I probably wouldn't bother doing this each and every time I make modifications to the system. It should also be noted that if you install Packwall from the AUR, it actually does not place 90-packwall.hook on your system. So it, it makes you go out and get this file yourself and place it in that particular directory because they understand, the people that created Packwall understand, most people probably don't want to add that hook. So all in all, I'm pretty happy with this. Why don't we take a screenshot and post this over at r slash Unix porn. Now, the folks over at r slash Unix porn require you to have at least two windows open in your screenshot. So I'm not exactly sure what I want to open here. I think one of the really neat things I could add to the screenshot is my file manager, VIFM. So if I open VIFM, it opened on the wrong screen here. And then if I do a capital G to go to the bottom of this particular directory, somewhere in this directory, 
in my home directory, packwall actually generates packwall.ping. That is actually what you are seeing as far as the background here, the, the background wallpaper. So if I resize VIFM just to get it uh, in the display here for my screenshot, I think that should be one of the programs I open. And I might as well open up Doom Emacs, my Qtile config in Doom Emacs since I'm in Qtile, and I might as well add a Neo fetch <laughs> to the screenshot. Let me go ahead and take a quick scrot, and I'm going to go ahead and upload this to r slash Unix porn. Now before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank Michael, Gabe, Haplo, Nate, Corbini, and Mitchell, Entropy UK, Arch5530, Chris, Chuck, DJ, Donnie, Dylan, George, Lewis, Omri, Paul, Sean, Tobias, and Willie. These guys, they are my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. Without these guys, this episode about ricing your desktop with Packwall, it wouldn't have been possible. Now the show is also brought to you by each and every one of these ladies and gentlemen. These are all my supporters over on Patreon because this channel is sponsored by you guys, the community. There are no no corporate sponsors here at DistroTube. If you would like to support my work, check out DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace.